Yo, what is up, you two? We are back on the Madden 15 today. We got a new batch of Final Edition cards. Let's go check them out. Actually, quickly before we hop into the Final Edition cards, we got a new bundle today. And to keep a long story short, this bundle looks pretty bad to me, man. The bundle topper is 10 badges. Now, you would think, man, well, bro, 10 badges? What if you're getting the elites? Nope, how do get the elites out of a 10 badge topper topper? And if you don't believe me, you can just check the price of Elite Badges on your console. They've been around 80k on the PS4 for a minute now, and they're still 80k. I think that 10 badge topper would be good if it guarantees you gold or better badges. But, I don't know, man. It doesn't guarantee you any type of badge. You can get silver, bronze. So, yeah, man. 10 badge topper. Terrible topper. That bundle's not worth getting. Here we go. The new Final Edition cards. Got a Martavis Bryant, Lamar Miller, King Dunlap, and TJ McDonough. Here's Martavis Bryant, 92 overall, 6'5", 95 speed, 85 elusiveness, 92 release, 97 spectacular catch, and 93 catching traffic. Final edition, in only 9 games, Bryant caught 26 passes for 549 yards and 8 TDs. This guy, this guy had a lot of potential, man. Whenever I watched the Steelers game, I didn't watch many. The announcers were always praising this guy, a young, up-and-coming talent. Now, he's actually 6'4", but they made him 6'5", just for the sake of making him 6'5". I don't know, that's bad for you, that's butt for you, that's, that's what we're doing now, but yeah, he's supposed to be 6'4", but he's 6'5". Now. It's not like we didn't have enough 6'5 receivers, man, give me a break. Next up, we got Lamar Miller, halfback for the Dolphins, 92 overall, 5'10", 95 speed, 95 carry, nice combo right there, 97 XL, 77 truck, must be a speed elusive back, 93 elusiveness, 94 ball carrier vision, and 92 awareness, final edition. For running backs who played in over 600 snaps, Miller finished second in yards per carry with 5.1, okay. Lamar Miller, I must have slept on this guy. Apparently, he had a good season. Check out the stats. Once again, elusive. I'm expecting a good juke, good spin move. See what he's working with. And I write 93 juke, 84 spin move. Mm, not the best stats when it comes to juking and, you know, elusivity. Next up, we got King Dunlap, the O-line, getting a little bit of love. 91 overall left tackle, 6'9". Damn, he's tall as hell. Give me a break. 6 freaking 9. 95 strength, 95 pass block, 93 run block, and 82 impact block. If you don't care about impact blocking, his run block pass block combo is pretty nice. Final edition, Dunlap played in over 1,000 snaps this season and only allowed 5 QB hits and 3 sacks. And he's a left tackle at 6 freaking 9. That's crazy. Can you imagine if he somehow got a tight end card or something crazy like that? That'd be insane, a 6 freaking 9 target. That's crazy. Now lastly, TJ McDonald, 91 overall strong safety, 6'2". Nice chunk of height on him. 92 speed, 94 hit power, laying the boom a little bit. 84 zone, 67 man, 77 tackle, 92 pursuit, and 96 XL. Final edition, McDonough led the Rams defense with 105 tackles, 9 tackles for loss, 2 sacks, and 1 interception. Okay, okay, so those are the final edition cards that go into the set, as well as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 gold badges. And gold badges, man, they're moving right up. If you got badges, you might as well sell them, because people people are badge thirsty trying to knock out those, those ultimate legend sets. And, you know, pull those flashback and throwback packs. As here is T.Y. Hilton. He is the award for knocking out that final edition set. 96 overall long pass. Ground and pound. Styles, baby. 5'9". Very small guy. 98 speed, though. Very fast. 97 spectacular catch. 95 elusiveness. 94 route running. 97 catch. 91 release. And 95 catching traffic. Final edition. Led the courts in receptions. Receiving yards. And earned first downs while missing two games. He only missed two games this year? I thought he missed more than two games. But I know, I know heading into the playoffs, he was injured. Banged up, sitting out some games. Steve by Hilton, I'm very, very productive for that Colts offense. And he's so small. It's kind of crazy, to be honest. This card looks really nice, too, man. 98 speed is no joke. But, yo, team of the year, Antonio Brown, still in the best buys for wide receiver. I think at one point in time, he was like 90K. And he still stacks up to every freaking receiver card coming out right now. And Antonio Brown and T.Y. Hilton have a similar game. And I still think Antonio Brown is just, you know, the more the more all-around receiver in Mutt, man. This card is very freaking nice. Now, honestly, guys, when it comes to these packs, I'd get the bundle if I had the points for it, but I don't have the points just lying around for it, so I'm not pressed to get this ass bundle, but we will we will pull a few all-pro packs. See what they're looking like. They're never anything special for me. I never care for these packs. The only packs I like are legend packs, game changer packs, and pro packs. Pro packs are the best packs in the game to me. Here we go. They're pulling some all-pro packs. Justin Forsett. I believe the Ravens re-signed him. Dunta Robinson. Mercedes Superdome. Calvin Noe. Any elites in this one? Ooh, what is this? Ah, it's probably a bad idea, but I wish they took out those legendary collectibles and replaced those with just ultimate legend collectibles. Drive down the price of ultimate legends and, you know, give people a reason to pull legendary packs for those guaranteed collectibles at the very least. I don't know. It's probably a terrible idea. It ruined the ultimate legend market, but they got to do something else than slide out those trash collectibles, man. Fourth quarter interception. What is this for? I don't think that's for anything special. I, don't, I doubt anyone's trying to knock out that set right now. 
Antoine Kaysen, Shan Schillinger, and a Jay Cutler. Go to Bears, still rocking out with Cutler, man. Still putting their money in Cutler. Cutler has a nice arm, too, and at times he shows flashes of greatness, but he's so, so inconsistent, man. He's very inconsistent. Next pack up. This might be my last one. You haven't gotten any elite so far. Okay, Chris Harris Jr. for that cornerback set. Oh, what is this? Oh, another fourth quarter ENT. This Sherman one goes for that Sherman set. That might, that might be some coin. I might be some cool coin. Not the worst pack, not the best pack, but all bad in packs. Nothing special. There you have it, the guys. I am out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, man. Peace.